Let's put the power rule to use in a quick example. Um, so we want to find the equation of the tangent line to this uh, cubic curve um, when x is equal to minus 1, right? So c equals minus 1. So first of all, if we let f of x equal x cubed, then we know f prime of x is equal to 3x squared using the power rule. We worked that out in the last video. Okay? So if we want the tangent line, well, then we need, the, we need a point, we need a slope. Um, the point on the line is going to be c, f of c, which is minus 1, and then minus 1 cubed, which is minus 1, minus 1. The slope is going to be f prime at minus 1, which is 3 times minus 1 squared, which is 3. Okay? So once you've got a point and a slope, You can get the equation. Y is equal to the y coordinate minus 1 plus the slope times x minus the x coordinate, which is also minus 1. So minus minus 1 becomes x plus 1. Okay? Now, um, again, you could simplify, but in this case you don't want to because we want to use. We want to use the tangent line approximation here, right? So the idea is you've got, right, you've got your cubic. So your cubic looks something like this. Okay. And we've just found the tangent line, let's say about right here. So we have that tangent at 1. Sorry, at minus 1. And Minus 1.1, that's not very far away. It's just a little bit over. And you can see that if you move only a little bit in the x direction, there is not a big difference between y values on the tangent line and y values on the original curve. And that means we can approximate minus 1.1 cubed, which is f of minus 1.1 using the tangent line. So we could call this maybe, we call this maybe L of x, this is the linear approximation. We say this is approximately L of minus 1.1, which is minus 1 plus 3 times minus 1.1 plus 1, right? And here's why you don't want to simplify it's very easy to do minus 1.1 plus 1, right? The ones, you just get the stuff after the decimal. We get minus 1 plus 3 times minus 0 0.1, okay? So we get minus 1 minus 0 0.3. So we get minus 1.3 as our approximation.